all right so a uh, very good evening to all of you watching this video my name is somya and uh, i have with me uh, uttam who has been a part of our post graduation program in artificial intelligence and machine learning he has successfully graduated with the course and uh, is here with us to share his career transition story i would like to take this platform to congratulate uttam and we are very proud of you we are very thankful uh, to you for being a part of this conversation and allowing us this time of yours uh, where we can have a quick and constructive chat about how you've been able to make a move in your career and uh, uh, this course must i i'm assuming that must have helped you in achieving your growth targets right so yes. welcome to the chat with them it's great having you here tell us something about this so okay so basically uh before the break up but let's just talk about some i came from the non technical background i joined this course from a non technical background so i have done my masters in mathematics uh, msc in mathematics i have done so after that uh, after getting into this course this course helped me a lot in terms of upskilling my skills those are required for to being a data analyst or data scientist um, like uh, right now working as a data scientist so this course uh it's all about from this course only so he uh, this course helped me a lot in terms of my programming skills like python and uh, machine learning uh, natural language processing deep learning for sure so these are the skills i have basically strong into a part once i uh <clears throat> enrolled in this course so durika helped me a lot in this one for sure so yeah so this is all about me from my end <laughs> So uh, I think it is very nice to hear that you belong from a non-technical background and yet you were able to uh, switch to a technical field, right? I understand that it's not easy to make a complete shift in your skills while you belong from a completely different background. You may see mathematics, what you said, right? And moving into a coding background and competing with several other people who are in that field. you know it it takes a lot of guts right i understand that and yeah. which is great right. i think all our viewers who are from the non technical background are and are still thinking that whether you know learning something new would land me up to a job or not yes we have a live example here right, right. so uh, that's that's really nice to hear uh, about that so a uh, couple of things right of course like you spoke about that you are from the non technical background tell me a couple of uh, skills that you learned out of this course that helped you land uh, helped you sir, that helped you get get into a job right out of this course you are asking so so basically i believe uh, in terms of programming which, uh, which is required a lot to get into any kind of a role in terms of data science or ai yeah. and ml so i do recommend provide me some of the platform which i can practice my programming skills as well So there are some platform they provide me that so those platforms help me a lot because after uh, read everything in terms of programming it not just it's not just to uh, read all the things and clear the interview and even they will give you kind of a good package and all that so it's not mm-hmm. that cup of tea you can say that so <laughs> do they provide me such kind of things to uh, nourish my programming skills as well because this is the first step to get a, to, to get a job in this field so yeah so Pro practice a lot in terms of programming skills. That's a very much in with a very much good thing I have done. So that that's really nice to know. So not only a first step, I think a very bold step, I must say. Yes. Right. And uh, that's 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 really nice, Uttam. Uh, just just curious to know, right? As we move on to this conversation, have you been able to move towards the growth path that you thought? uh before you joining this course right because we, we always think about a plan while we take one two steps ahead towards that right so have you been able to get to that growth path the the way you planned it no not exactly so i haven't part of the those those things you were just talking about no i have not part of that <laughs> okay so totally you need to say that you just made very small milestones that you wanted to achieve from the course getting to the job correct correct from the job. course yes right correct, so correct. from so here what you step. So from here, where, yeah. what do you what do you plan? Where do you see yourself? So right now, if you just talk to me, the my first goal is to basically after getting into this course, basically, ah, uh, let's just uh, learn from all the skills which are required to being a data scientist because it's just 
look some cool sometimes right it's a i'm uh, working as a data scientist other than a data analyst so this was my um, you can say dream and all that i just want to be a data scientist not a, not a data analyst not, an analyst. not a machine learning engineer so that's looks uh, nice because my designation is data scientist so it looks cool sometimes so basically so this was my dream at that time before joining this course so uh, yes i tried a lot i uh, did require me some of the platform not exactly platform basically uh, interviews they conducted some of the interviews or uh, live sessions and one to one mentorship uh, in, in terms of uh, how do i performing in front of an interview they provide me these are kind of things so they helped me a lot because i have rejected some several times but uh, after some of the rejections i get uh, a good job in, uh, as a data scientist which i looked which <laughs> which i had dreamed before this uh, joining this course once i again uh, getting enrolled in this course this was my first dream to get a data scientist so yes after completing that course i <laughs> i get a data scientist role perfect perfect so all our viewers who are looking forward to be a data scientist or a data analyst i think here is your cue and that's all you can be i think more of ambition and uh, right skills can land you to a place where you want to be okay. last question uttam thank you so much for your time but uh, some tips for our viewers right i understand that career career transition is a very bold step right and okay. uh, you know that you will be rejected you might get tough tough interviews you might get tough questions right with this certain mindset that you must have a you know a uh, embedded in yourself that helped you get a job so some tips to our viewers who are looking forward for a career transition or even if they are not looking for it uh, just a story to share okay so uh, so there are two points from my end which i need to tell for everyone who are basically looking for a job in or making the career transition in this field basically uh, the first is programming skills practice a lot because interviewer wants if anyone get in front of an interviewer that that time interviewer may ask a lot of questions from the programming because at the end of the day we need to write a programs we need to write a code right, right. this is the first step so uh, prepare well from practice a lot in terms of python is must for any data science role so for prepare a lot or practice practice a programming skills so that that means a python other than this basically uh, like whichever that algorithm it would be like uh, whether it is a machine learning algorithm nlp or deep learning try to understand that algorithm in depth in depth that uh, basically means uh, the mathematical part of that algorithm so that algorithm mathematical part and that programming skills how to apply these algorithms in uh, with the help of python so these are two things i believe uh, any fresher or uh, any experienced person can be these kind of two tips would be helpful for any kind of person brilliant so uh, of course the gist is that this is a blend of skill and uh, planning and the correct mindset that can help you uh, be successful here thank you so much uttam for doing this and we wish you all the very best for your future endeavors we hope to see you thank again you, and uh, keep learning we uh, hope that your learning journey continues thank you so much for doing this thank you so much thank you thank you bye bye